Welcome back to the basement yard. How you doing, Danny? How was your weekend? It's pr- it's went pretty goddamn well. Why'd you hesitate like three different times? I, I, I didn't want to curse like the first word out of my mouth to be a curse. Right. We were going to go pretty fucking damn well. Yeah, pretty fucking damn nice. You're going to sound like a, a truck driver? Yeah, I didn't want to sound pretty like that. Pretty fucking damn good. It was pretty f- pretty <laughs> damn fucking nice. <laughs> no, no. It was uh, it was quite nice. Yeah. I, de- I, <laughs> I had a... Uh, I had an eventful weekend. Did you really? Uh, yeah, I used a bidet for the first time. Really? Yeah. Oh, I guess, yeah, you've never been to, like, Europe. Yeah, I have. They haven't. have a lot of those over there. Have you used one? Yeah. Every day in Italy when I was there, I fucking sprayed that ass. Did you like it? It's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, it's a little weird because your butthole's wet. Yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about my butthole being soaked. What I would do is I would wipe, then bidet, then wipe again. Whoa. Ultra clean. Yeah, that I'm is. I'm also dealing with a beast. <laughs> <laughs> you got the black hole in there. Yeah, so, you know. Yeah. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I'd say. Yeah. You know, there's a lot that you can go through as a man, and, like, having a pretty banged-up butt is one of them. You oh, know? yeah, well, that's a given, I think, in this world. Absolutely. Life, taxes, and a banged-up anus. Couldn't have said it better myself. Exactly. That was pretty goddamn fucking good. That was pretty goddamn fucking good, dude. Yeah. Guy. yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, no. yeah. All right, so how'd it go? But yeah, I, I mean, it was it was cool. I mean, for people who don't know, a bidet basically like it it sprays water at your asshole. Yeah. To clean it. Mm-hmm. Because there is that thing. It's like, yo, if you got shit on your hand, would you use toilet paper just to wipe it off and be like, oh, I'm chilling now, or would you get some water? You know. So yes. that's the idea behind a, a bidet is that, you know. Is that really the? I don't think that's not the idea, but that's like what people say. It's like, oh, bidets make sense because it's like you wouldn't just use paper. You'd use some water and paper. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, it's also weird that our body just weaves these little poop baskets around food. What would you say? Because like your body's like weaving poop right now. Weaving? Yeah. Like what's the process of poop? Like when you poop. But does your shit come out like crochet? Like what are you talking about? No. Weaving? It, well, it's like a ra- basket. Well, you're, it's wrapped up. What's wrapped up? The food that you ate. In what? In poop. It's not wrapped up. Yes, it is. It's not. It doesn't get wrapped up. Yeah, with it gets poop. woven with duty, son. No, it do, do. you know what poop is? Yeah, I've seen it a bunch. It gets woven. Yeah, dude. You ever break? Yo, know, you ever see your poop and there's food in there? Hold on. Did you were about to ask me if I ever broke open my poop? Yeah, I was. <laughs> but... <laughs> no. Tell me, t- tell you're me. In the, <laughs> you're in there. <laughs> Not like that. Like everyone at Willy Wonka trying to find this in the golden ticket. Don't, s- <laughs> don't sit here and lie to me. Okay. And tell me you've never peed on your dad's poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You have. It's only funny because I've cut that shit in half with my pee. Hell yeah. I would, I would be like. Oh, try yeah. to pee really hard and just cut it in half. That's what you do with your pee. Yeah. If there's poop in there, wait, hold on. Why'd you, you go, to... why'd you go, Dad? Because you don't really do it to your own poop because you flush your poop and you pee while you poop. But if there's poop left over from Dad in there when you're young, you're trying to sink that battleship for sure. Man, you are on fire today. I'm just saying, that's just how it is. It's true. That's a thing. You've done that, so you can't, I've cut you can't poop sit with... across from this table Dude. say I'm on fire today. No. I've cut poop in half with pee. Numerous times. Yeah. I haven't done it in a while, though, which, you know, I, I might be a little rusty at it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But I definitely have done that. Well, it's up with dads not flushing the toilet, too. I don't think my dad cared about much. I think they just had enough of life at that point. They're like, you know what? I've raised these kids. I'm not flushing this shit. I'm pretty sure that he's thrown up in the toilet and was just like, well, that's where that goes. Wow. You know? And then I had to, you know, it wasn't really a pleasant surprise. You ever throw up in the sink? Oh, yeah. Big time. That is the worst cleanup of all time. I've thrown up, like, everywhere. I yeah. threw up in the sink. Shower? Can't. That, that's a horrible cleanup, too. No, <laughs> I, think that, I think that's the easiest cleanup. No, because all the chunks get stuck in the in the grate. You know, chunks go everywhere when you throw up anyway. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> what was that? That was like a bunch of chicken. That's what people sound like when they throw up. Yeah. <laughs> My brother actually told me a story that his his old college roommate's dad, when he throws up, screams right before, because then it doesn't like feel weird. Apparently, like it, it it stops it from like you gagging, I guess. 
So he screams and he's just like, ah! <laughs> so gross. It's like a super saiyan. Like, Yo, if anyone's up. eating during the beginning of this podcast, it's a rat. Yeah, sorry. They shut this off right I don't know. I, I just think I'm in a very good mood because I, uh, I got my raise. All right, that was quick. Not, we, yeah, it literally was like, oh, five minutes in, Danny just, brought up the fact that he's getting. I, I just felt like you were dancing around it, and uh, I feel like you've been you've been ducking me a little bit. I've not been ducking. Oh, what do you? I'm here. You're here because you have to be here. That's true. You I know? live here. Yeah, so you live here. I had to come to you. It's true. So, with that being said, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Let's just. So what we did was with kid, the with the this Patreon. Kid, this kid doesn't want to pay me. Uh, it's not the, well, listen, I'm explaining, you jerk. Okay, all right. I haven't called someone a jerk in years, but anyway. I'm with You fucking jerk. Uh, the Patreon that we have set up, I said once we get to 1,500 patrons, uh, Danny would get a raise because he's been asking for a raise literally since the sixth day he's been here. Oh, I'm checking the Patreon now just to make uh, – we're at 1,530. So we're at – As of right now. 1,530 patrons. We appreciate all of you guys. Uh, you know, it's, it's because of the support from the, the patrons that we're able to do – uh, this podcast every single week, and uh, can you stop whipping? What's this new the that thing? What's what? the whoa? What's it called? What are you doing? The one when it's like I, I, the whoa? I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. I think it's called the whoa. It's sick. So the Patreon. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but with the Patreon, uh, if you do sign up and support the show, you guys get every episode a week early. You get an extra episode that is exclusive to patrons. Uh, it's uploaded on YouTube, unlisted, and then the patrons can watch it. Uh, and then there's Q&A content that me and Danny shoot up there <clears throat> every so often and other stuff too. Promo codes for merch and shit like that. So you get a bunch of stuff when you sign up for the Patreon. So thank you to everyone who has done it. Uh, but also, fuck you, because now... Over fifteen hundred people did it, which I didn't think we'd get to. Yeah, and now, but I believed in you guys the entire time. Yeah, I rode this horse, and I thought about it. And while I was riding this horse, figuratively in my mind, I was like, "I'm gonna ride this into salvation," and, into, <laughs> and I did. And oh, I, 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 I felt like I rode it out of the gates of hell to get this race. And all these people rode horses alongside me. What are you talking about? I don't, I just blacked out. Yeah, I don't know what you... You tried to sound like... Nah. If, if you were deep enough, you'd understand. I guess so. You would understand what I went through to get here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your life's hard. Yeah. It is. Okay, cool. All right? Just letting you know. Yeah. He's upset. He's got to give me some money. I'm so, not upset. You know. I just oh, have a little... this? I have a little something here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Legal documentation. It says demands, and then demands. Yes, yeah, so I made it. I What's did raise? It. I did it. Oh, raise demands. I did it right. That's how you spell it. Yeah. All right. I really hope that was a joke, and you don't really spell it that way. Yeah, it was a joke. How do you spell demands? Open it up. All right. Did you actually like? Oh, it's, it's, did you it's, lick it's, this? Yeah, it's notarized. This is my mail. You <laughs> you opened one of my mail things. No. All right, here we go. Yeah, it did. So he has a list of demands, and it's written in Sharpie. Of course it is. Yeah, because Sharpies are forever. Also, demands now spelled another way. I think I got it right on that one. Uh, Okay, first one. There's already an error. He fucked up his first thing. Yeah, there's 10 demands on here. What is this, the Ten Commandments? I'm just saying that you might not want... I might not get all of them. You got to shoot for the moon here. The Ten Condandments. Okay, Condandment. Okay, That's gonna, pretty good. No, I'm going to kill myself. All right. Uh, 7%. <laughs> okay, first uh, demand. We have 7% equity of BY, whatever that means. Yes. Does that mean like... Whatever that means, or you don't know what equity means. I mean, whatever, whatever that means. I don't really know what it means. All right, I'm gonna go no to that. Uh, two Mazda Miata, in parentheses, any year. It's doable. <laughs> that one, <laughs> it is doable. It is doable. Yo, Mazda, yo, you would look so weird in a Mazda Miata. Nah, I would look gangster. Nah, you know how small they are? They're like toys. Yeah, you would look like the whole car. It's all about. I'm all about the Miata, dog. I really wish that I hope that there's one day that I I can 
scale whatever we're doing here to the point where there's tons of money coming in, and as a Christmas bonus, I can give you a Miata. All right, so that's a that's a maybe. That's a that's a down the line maybe. I'll take it. Okay. We'll revisit number one like uh, another day. What seven percent equity? We will not revisit that. What about one percent? Okay. Uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> number three. Uh, one friendship, one follow post on IG. Yeah. What does that mean? You go on Instagram. You tell people follow me on your Instagram. What's friendship? Like, be like, hey, this is my friend. Go follow my friend, Danny, on Instagram. One friendship, one follow? Yeah. One, like one friendship follow. Like, j do it like as a friend. You know what I mean? Not just because like, like, I'm telling you to do it. I mean, it's a demand. It's a demand, as you wrote. Yeah. I All think right. we, I think we can make that work. Okay. <laughs> Said okay. We got that one. No, nah, I'm not doing that. Uh, four. Promoted. Your handwriting is fucking awful, by the what way. What do you want me to do? I was nervous writing that. I don't know. This looks like you wrote it left-handed in the dark and drunk. I am left-handed. In the dark? It was partially dark, and I wasn't drunk. Yeah, I know that. This looks like I wrote it upside down. Yeah, my, on, my hand on a, on a roller coaster. My handwriting is very bad. I will say that. Yeah, this handwriting is terrible. One of the demands should have been I, I write that better. Yeah, honestly, I don't know. If there's anything you can't read, I'm here to translate. Yeah, I can't. The only reason why I can't read is because you can't really write. Yeah. Uh, this is really bad. Okay. Okay. So noted. I have bad. I have bad handwriting. Yeah, very very bad. Four uh, promoted to co-host. In parentheses, so I can post on my IG bio. <laughs> What's your IG bio now? A diabetic producer. <laughs> the base yard. That's right. I forgot about that. That's really funny. <clears throat> diabetic producer of the base yard. All right. Number five, some kind of fish. Yeah. I don't know. Just like buy me like a cool fish. And then, and then you drew a, a little fish. Yeah, hey, I drew a Jesus fish. That just looks like... Uh, things going off again. It's always little tunes. It's a dishwasher. Yeah, I know. It's it's like a clown that lives in here. <laughs> uh, so you you want a fish? Yeah, it's some kind of fish. You pick the fish. Are we gonna ignore that? Or are we gonna? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long song for a fucking dishwasher to play. Yeah, it's it's weird. Um, so you want a fish, like a goldfish, or like a like a like a sh like a salmon? Do what you want. I stand by my demands. Like a flounder. Is that a fish? Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. Uh, also, holiday. Not really a word that you're good at spelling, I guess. Uh, six. One, and then in parentheses, holiday over vacation. Because people call vacations holidays in other parts of the country, and I didn't want to confuse First of all, people. You mean other parts of the world? In this country, we call them vacations. Whatever, bro. Uh, so, one holiday. Spent together, yeah. You want to go on vacation together? I do. It does. Uh, that one, I'm I'm down. Okay. That one, I'm down for. All right. Uh, but who's gonna feed the fish? We'll figure that out. Yeah, we have to get a fish sitter. Yeah, get a fish sitter. All right. Uh, number seven. Tell me a secret you've never told anyone, off air, acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> What? I want a deep, dark one. You want a deep seek? Yeah, I want a deep seek. Um, you got them in there. I feel like I, I feel like I've told you some deep seeks. I want another one. You want you want an extra seek? Yeah. All right. That one's. I guess that's doable. That's doable. You, you, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, eight. Write me in as your vote for the next president of the United States in Zozo. Oh, twenty twenty. <laughs> Those are twos. I thought that was, I was like, what the fuck is Zozo? At first, I thought Those that was zoo. Z's. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I thought this said zoo. No, I thought you wanted to be like president of a zoo. I would love to be a president of a zoo, Do but zoos have they don't have presidents. That's too hard. Yeah, I don't think that. So. All right, you want me to write me write you in as the next president? Yeah. So you could you could vote for whoever you want, or you could write in your vote. So yeah. in 2020, I want you to vote for me for president. So I could say I have one presidential vote. All right. Okay. Uh, nine, give me every dollar in your pocket right now. What do you have? What do you got on you? I don't know. Go check. Oh, damn it. 
I have my wallet. You do? Nice. What's in there? Oh, yes. I just took money out. What do you got? $65. All right. (sighs) There it is. Raises already. That's an advance. There there goes that. That's an advance? (sighs) And number 10, your final, I think final. Is this double-sided? No, thank you. No, no, no. It's the last one. Oh, yeah. Tens, tens, reasonable demands. Uh, all right, so ten. Donate a hundred dollars to a blind sanctuary of your choice right now. A bird sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that said blind. No, 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 no. What's a blind sanctuary? Uh, that's like uh, where that where they all went. There is a blind sanctuary where they all went in that movie. What movie? On Netflix with Sandra Bullock. Oh, Bird Box. Sandra. Is it Sandra? It's Sandra. Sandra Bullock. They went to a blind sanctuary. Sandra Bullock in a blind sanctuary? Yes. That that technically, you said it. what's a blind sanctuary. That technically what Bird Box was. Yeah. Yeah. I. Yes. And there were birds there. Yeah. So, wait, what's a bird sanctuary? It's like where, like, birds go to, like, live in peace. Like, you can't, like, bother them. Where is that? I don't know. And how do you donate to it? I'll look it up right now. I'll if you find a bird sanctuary donation link, I will I will gladly donate a hundred dollars to the birds. Ways to donate. To a bird? To the world bird sanctuary. Oh my god, it exists. Donate now. I gotta donate to a bunch of birds? What's with you and birds? It's a one time donation. I like birds. There you go. The World Bird Sanctuary. Yo, this is a real thing. Yeah, bro. One-time donation, $10 to $5,000. Oh, it's tax deductible. There it is. That's nice. Well, it is a donation. I don't know how I feel about putting my credit card information into this World Bird Sanctuary. I don't know how legitimate it is. All right. All right. Well, we'll if you don't want out. to help the birds, that's fine. Give no, it back. I mean, I was, I'll help that's them. That's fine. He doesn't I'll, care about birds. That's I great. care about... I had two birds when I was younger. Yeah, what were their names? Marty and Molly. That's so made up. I'm not. Ask me what color they were. You're already th- you, could say, you could say any color. I don't ask, have... Ask any question, then. Picture every, what kind of birds were they? Parakeets. That's the easiest type of bird that you take home. Well, that's the one that fucking people get. Yeah. I'm not so, going to lie to you and say I had a tropical parrot. How long did you have him for? That I don't know. I see. Yeah, I were already poking holes in the story. Who Here, took care of it? It was Shannon's birds. Okay, so they weren't your birds. You lied about that. No, they ha- I had. They were in my house. Just because we had birds. <laughs> we had birds. I had access to two parakeets. So you're telling me you had birds? Two birds. Keith had reptiles. Lizards. Lizards. And they were all Mad living in lizards. the same house. Huh? They were all living in the same house. Same oh yeah, time. big time. What about this hermit crab too? The hermit crab was around too. Yeah, that was like six days before that thing got out. Yeah, Jesus. You guys street. had a whole fucking uh, like yeah. Ace Ventura over there. No, that's the only things we really had. I think. Chase. Well, no, Chase came way after all that. Like we, this was when we were super young. Okay. My, my sister had two birds. So what happened to these birds? So-called uh, birds, alleged birds. They both just like died. Like, and when birds die, it's fucked. They just, they're stiff and they just fall over, right? Yeah, they just like, they just like old, die. old pieces of wood. It's like, imagine you spent your whole life on a tree branch. When you die, you just fall and hit the ground. And then you're just on the ground and you're a dead bird, right? Cause yeah, it's, damn, it's, I never really thought about it's that. It's kind of brutal. Like, yeah. don't get your kids birds. It's kind of fucked, yeah. you know? And like, I don't know how it is with like parrots and shit. Maybe they just like, they could tell you like, yo, I want to die. And then you got to take them to the vet. How do you know a bird's sick? You don't, dude. <laughs> like, uh, my bird looks kind of sick. <laughs> Not really flying as like, well. Like, can you take a bird to the vet? You can take anything to the vet. They fix they fix you up, you know? Yeah, vets are just highway robbery. If you don't have insurance for your pets... Even if you do have insurance... It's co- still co- a robbery. Pay, yeah, yeah. Co- crazy. I mean, it's not like robbery, but... Oh, it's robbery. Someone's got to fucking fix these animals. I know, but it's like... I'm talking about these are surgery. Let me let me ask you this about animals. Yeah. If your animal is like really really sick, I don't know. Right, it's really really sick. Would you pay to like keep it alive, but it's still like kind of sick, or would you like put it down? 
It depends what what it is. If I knew it was going to be in pain for the rest of its life. Like, it would have to, like, take, like, yeah, it, w- it would not live, like, a great life. But you could pay to keep him alive for, like, another couple of years. You got to put it down, right? Yeah, I mean. It sucks. Know, it sucks to think you about. You don't, you don't keep your pet alive if, like, they're in pain. Yeah. You know, what are you doing? You don't do that to people either. How do you feel about when people, well, a lot of people do that, though. Yeah, I know. Like, people but, that will be, like, uh, in, like, comas and shit. Comas are, di- are different. No, though. but like if they're like they're never gonna come out. Well, you don't. I don't think you can know that. Well, people that are on like respirators and shit. I think they're technically in comas, right? I don't know. I don't know You're much asking about the wrong. Yeah, I'm not a doctor. Yeah, I know you don't need me to tell you that, but that's a thing. But yeah, hold on, real quick about Marty and Molly, <laughs> right? You had to pull the plug on them, but they just died on their own. And no, yeah, this yeah. wasn't. This wasn't. Uh, we didn't euthanize them. <laughs> yeah, you know, age just got to them. The age. Uh, my sister loved these birds, right? Marty was yellow and green. Okay. He was he was a pretty bird. And then Molly, the girl, bitch, would bite you. You ever get bit by a bird? And, and they like, have that black tongue that comes out. Uh, uh, it's it's fucking terrible. You Bur- know? Birds are kind of birds are you know they're misunderstood. Their tongues are like pretty Jurassic. Yeah, they look like the dinosaurs what, in their mouth. You know what I'm they saying? do. Yeah, they're a little Jurassic. Yeah. You know, I don't really fuck with birds. It's also very weird how they clean themselves as well. Yeah, they kind of just like headbutt their armpits. Yeah, they just fucking start smacking themselves. Yeah, and you're like, yo, just, you know what I'm saying? Would you? Do you think you could, like, if your kid wanted a bird, I wouldn't get it for it. Nah, I'd be like, yo, you're an idiot. Yeah, it's like, like not even uh, a pet. I'm not getting you a fucking bird. It's like, I'll get you a real pet. Yeah. Right? Like, if people have like fake pets. Like guinea pigs? Dude, what is it, 1998? Get the fucking thing out of here. I also hate when people are like, the bird got out. I'm like, yeah, it's a bird. It's like, it's supposed to fly. Yeah. You have it in a cage. Let the bitch fly. I think having a bird in a cage is kind of fucked up. It is kind of fucked up. I think it's actually fully fucked up. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go like, I'm going to go 93% fucked up. I think it's more fucked up than keeping a fish in a bowl. Because I mean, don't, don't they say like fishes are dumb? Probably not dumber than us. Oh no, they say they have like short m- memories or something. I don't know. Like can a f- can a fish really know it's in a bowl? I think they could figure it out. Like at one at some point are like are they like this isn't the ocean? <laughs> this Probably isn't they, a river. They have this isn't to. a lake. They have to. Or maybe they're like. I don't think so. You know, I don't think fish have the the wherewithal to to, to be it out. to be like. Oh yeah, this isn't a pond. I think it's. I think they like, just they adapt to their environment. I think birds though, at the first chance, they're gonna fucking fly out of there. Yeah, I don't think anyone trains birds. Actually, that's false. You know those dudes who like stand on top of old broken down movie theaters and they're like. And then birds just fucking start flying in circles. Like Pigeon Man from uh, fucking Hey Arnold. How? How did you train birds to just... And they were making circles. What about messenger birds? Well, that word gave you trouble, huh? Messenger birds. Messenger birds. Yeah, that's insane, too. Like, oh, yo, someone could send a bird. Deliver this. Yeah. And you just tell them. And you just just throw them out there. Not only that, but it was like crucial messages like yeah, it was like war and it was like yo where do we find the guy and he's like oh, hold on let me just <laughs> go i really wonder how, how the they fuck? do that it's insane there has to be a vice like on that yeah i want to know how to train a bird wild birds what about those hawks that fly in right to the dude's arm like during a national anthem how much those guys are badass this guy fucking crazy vision I just don't know. How, do they have like something like a treat on the glove? Treat? No, I think they just train those bitches. What are bird treats? They have to be like vermin. Varmin? Vermin. I knew a girl in high school, her last name was Vermin. Her last name was Vermin? Yeah, but I don't think that's what you're saying. Like what you're trying to say? Like What are mice? Like R- rodents. Rodents, yeah. But they're like vermin. Or varmin? <laughs> I, oh, I, I think they're vermin I don't know man But, think, uh, but her last name was vermin She was cool <laughs> She wasn't a, She wasn't a rat She wasn't a, She wasn't a fucking rat <laughs> No vermin Are pests and, Or nuisance So okay, I, I was God. right I thought I It didn't I want to say 
Varmint. I want to say Varmint. Yo, I wanted to say that too. You were going to say that? Varmint too? What is that? Look uh, that up. I don't know. Because uh, I feel like in a cartoon. Like, like well, you Varmint. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. That's exactly what I mean. I don't know what that is, but you know. Varmint, a troublesome wild animal. Wait a minute. So if a Varmin is a nuisance animal, a Varmint oh, with a T is a troublesome wild animal. So then it was uh, bug. Uh, I think it was Bugs Bunny. He was a varmint. Yeah, he goddamn varmint. What was that guy? Wiley Coyote. Not Wiley no, Coyote. Fucking, uh, uh, whoa, whoa! He was always on all the truck things. What? Like the truck like, things. Like the mud flaps. Oh, what was Remember, that? like behind trucks, behind oh, this the is wheels. Bother me. I can't. Move It'd be on. the guy with the two guns. Not Wiley Coyote. Fuck. Holy shit. Elmer Fudd, Elmer dude. F- no, that's not Elmer Fudd. Yes, it is. No, Elmer Fudd was like, keep quiet. I'm hunting for wabbit. That's what I'm talking no, about. No, I'm talking about the guy that shot the guns. Oh, oh, the pirate. He wasn't a pirate. No, he was a cowboy. Who's no. oh. <laughs> <laughs> who's Oh, the guy with the little legs. Yes. What the fuck was his name? Elmer Fudd was the. I know. Elmer, Elmer Fudd was what I was thinking. quiet. Of. I'm hunting for wabbits. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> what about Porky Pig, too? Just have the biggest stutter of all time. Yeah, it's like, let's give this guy a speech impediment. <laughs> I was like, yeah, get the, I would have hated voice in that fucking guy. She's like, yeah, we get it, we get we it, get we get it. it. Come on. So it was Elmer Fudd, Wiley Coyote, Roadrunner. Yeah. Porky Pig. Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck. God. Damn it. Is it? Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Something Sam? Yosemite Sam. Was that his name? I think so. Can I look it up? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yosemite Sam. I think I'm right. I think. Oh, well, I, I, you said Sam. I said Yosemite Sam, but it's fine. We'll take we'll take credits here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Yes. Sam. Got it. Yeah. Yes. What was that like? Uh, what was that? That rooster that like kind of sounded like a black man. Oh, like a. <laughs> That's um. Oh God! I think name? there was like racial backlash with him. I think I could be making that I up. Resemble that remark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what the, the fuck? Yet, what movie. the fuck was his name? Ah, uh, his name was something. Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah, that's that was his name, right? Yeah, yeah. A little racist. Why is that racist? I don't know. I feel like it's racist though. I'm gonna look it up. That I don't see how that's racist. Is Foghorn Leghorn <laughs> racist? Black. <laughs> it comes up. It does. Is Foghorn Leghorn racist? These are the type of things we tackle on this show, by the way. Yeah, we're trying to break down barriers. I don't know what I'm saying Ex- right now. Wow, there's a whole thing about exploring the hidden racist past of Looney Tunes. Do you want me to read this? Yes. Okay. Let's ruin my childhood. Uh, see, that's what I'm afraid to do. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm fully trying to do this because I like when people get ridiculous, you know? I don't know. Oh, it's getting serious. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable reading this one. Oh, wow. They're saying some crazy shit. Can I read it? Yeah, I, I don't want to read this, just but just read me. the name of it. <clears throat> Wait, read what? It starts with a J. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, yikes. <laughs> and then go up a little bit. There's a picture. This, this is a picture of it. No, of not the, the ad of the foot. <laughs> Somebody else. It's an advertisement of like... Bunions and shit. <laughs> How to fix bunions without surgery. Use this simple little device. And then it's like a fucking uh I don't I don't I don't see a picture. Let me see it. Are you talking about this one? Yeah. Why is that what am I looking at? The bottom left. That guy, that character. Yeah. It's a little like Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a little bit of racism, but like to, that just makes sense to me, honestly. Yeah, because it was the t- I guess it, it was, was the, racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> like, think everyone were was kind of racist. No kidding, like the cartoons are gonna be racist. The people were fucking racist. It says, well, all right. So this is why is Foghorn Leghorn racist? I've never watched a second of him, by the way. I only saw him in Space Jam. Like I never watched. I don't even know what fucking show he was on. Oh. The reason he's considered racist is because he would use the word boy a lot. Boy. Like that. That's how racist people say it. Yeah. yeah. So perhaps I went 
too far in declaring that Foghorn's use of the word boy is racist, but during that certain time period, that's when people it would... could be taken as racist talk. For sure. Is, is what they said. Yeah, it's even weird now when people say it. I think something just happened like in sports where someone said boy or something. Didn't like Foghorn Leghorn beat his wife? A chicken beat his wife? <laughs> what? I think he used to talk about beating his wife. Miss Prissy was her name. Oh, Miss Prissy was getting the hands? I think so. Damn, it's fucked up. The chicken hands. It's a little scary, actually. Yeah. I mean, I think you're diving too deep. You're, yeah. You're diving too deep now. I don't want to hear about this now. Also, they were all like based around like murder, too. Like Elmer Fudd wanted to just murder fucking Bugs Bunny all the time. <laughs> you never thought about that till right now, to be honest with you. Yeah. And he would shoot fucking Daffy Duck in the face all the time and blow his fucking beak off. And the kids would just sit at home. <laughs> Daffy Duck, also black, just putting it out there. Getting hunted by... A white man. A white man. It's getting some sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Do we have sponsors today? We do have some sponsors for the show. All right. And grab my list of demands that you rudely threw on the floor. I didn't see that as... Listen, is the demands. I'm just not gonna. But I need them for history's sake. History? And also, we gotta put them in a museum. I need legality reasons as well. I bet you. You didn't do. say yes or no to any of them. That's how you do business. <sighs> All hands. Make sure the money shows up. Anyway, uh, today we have two sponsors for the show. The first one being Casper mattresses. Okay, Danny. I love a good mattress. You like to sleep? Yeah, love it. One of my favorite things to do. Why you look scared? Yeah. Oh no no no! I I I I, I, I was reading something about Falcon on that corner. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay, cool. Uh, so the Casper mattress. <laughs> all right, the original Casper mattress combines multiple supportive memory foams for a quality sleep surface with the right amounts of both sink and bounce. And I can tell you, as someone who has a Casper mattress, and if you think I'm bullshitting you, you go in there, you go check the tag. It's a Casper mattress. I've had it for two. Two and a half years, maybe? I don't believe you. I'm going to go check. Go check it out. I'll, I'll get back to me. Um, You'll get back to you? Go to, <laughs> go take a picture of it. Bring it back. Um, with over 20,000 reviews, with an average of 4.8 stars across Casper, Amazon, Google, Casper is coming, becoming the Internet's favorite mattress. Okay, They offer two other mattresses, the Wave and the Essential. The Wave features a patent-pending premium support system to mirror the natural shape of your body, which is lovely. And Huh? Yeah, it is. Um, and you got affordable prices because Casper cuts out the middleman and sells directly to you. Hassle-free returns if you're not completely satisfied. Guys, if you want a mattress, get a Casper mattress. Uh, you can be sure of your purchase with Casper's 100-night risk-free sleep-on-it trial. Um, but, yeah. That's a lot of nights. That's a ton of nights. 100? Yeah. That's like a th th almost like a third of a year. Very good, Danny. Um <laughs> Get fifty dollars toward select mattresses by visiting Casper.com slash basement or using the promo code basement at checkout. That is Casper spelled C A S P E R dot com slash basement and use the promo code basement at checkout. All right, so there's that. Uh next we have Postmates. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, basically like having a personal food delivery, grocery delivery, or whatever you want delivery person on hand. You guys probably know Postmates, very popular company. If you don't, I'm here to tell you about them. All right. The personal delivery service. I, I broke my Xbox headset, had a guy go to GameStop for me to bring it over because I can't play Xbox without my headset. Great guy as well. Good guy. His name is Tony. I think it was Tony. It was Tony. Was it? Yeah. I don't know why I remember How the that. hell do you remember that? I honestly. How do I remember that? I don't know. Why do we know that? I like don't I know. made an impact on me. Yeah, he did. Okay. So the Postmates are making an impact on people. <laughs> All right. Uh, no more trips to the store. You don't even have to know where the store is. <laughs> you don't even have to. You don't care. Who cares where it is? I hate knowing where stores are. To be I honest. hate information. Yes. All right. I hate locations of things. Um, <laughs> but download the app uh, for iOS or Android for free. Uh, browse local restaurants, businesses, and track your delivery. It literally, like, will show the car and on its way to you, okay? And it's going to drop your stuff off, so you can keep an eye on it. And you can keep in contact with the dude. Um, for a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $100 for free delivery credit for your first seven days. To start your free, de de 
deliveries. Uh, download the app right now and use the code BASEMENT. That's the code BASEMENT for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Get anything you need anytime you need it. Download Postmates and save again with the code BASEMENT. Mm. Boom. That's how you do that. And that's how you do that. I will sell water to a well. Grab my demands. I want them. Here you go. Whoa. Here you go. Loser. <laughs> you fucking geek, dude. I feel like that's how like dorks always caught stuff in movies. Yeah. It's like, oh, what? no. <laughs> I don't have hands. I hate those movies, man. They're so, they don't even like. Like 80s, like, bu- like bully movies. Someone just takes like a whole thing of gravy and he's just like. <laughs> Pours it on the kid's head. First of all, why you need so much gravy? Yeah, it's a lot of gravy. I just, I feel like I feel like those movies were like not beneficial to like bullies. I feel like it just gave bullies like more ideas. Oh, like yo, we should start hanging these kids by their underwear. Yeah, <laughs> like Days of Confused, like Ben Affleck paddles people. Yeah, like people probably paddle people just because Ben Affleck did it in the movie. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Which is so fucking weird. Yeah. And like, I love how those dudes are like hyper masculine, but also a little gay. They're super gay. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, yo, if you want to be part of the brotherhood and like, blah, 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 we got to spank your ass. Yeah. It's Tickle like, your dick. Yeah. It's like, what? Dude? Yeah. What do you want to do? That's why. It's I, like, I, yeah, we put all, we carved our names into this wooden paddle. I'm going to smack your ass with it, your bare ass with it. <laughs> We're all going to take a try. Yeah. I don't want to be a part of this. And then, and then after that, I'm your brother. Like it's weird. Yeah, and then we're, and then we're cool. Yeah. It's like, and then I'm cool now, and then I'm gonna do this to somebody else next year. It's like the white person version of getting jumped into a gang. Yeah. It's like we're just gonna smack your ass, and then you're <laughs> one of us. It's like what the fuck. I don't think I could have ever joined like a a frat. I could have, but like I'm way too like I'm just not gonna do that, dude. Yeah. You know, if someone's like, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're all gonna spit in this cup. And one of you pledges is going to drink it. I'd be oh. like, I'm all sad. Oh, that makes me want to throw up right now just yeah. thinking about it. I'd be like, how about we just fist fight? Yeah. I was like, I'd rather you guys just jump me. Yeah. How about I just don't come to any of these parties? Yeah, I like, you know, I don't know. But it's just, it's weird. It's a weird culture, I think. Like, I know buddies that, like, were in Greek life. Oh, uh, yeah. I would have thought you would have to be Greek <laughs> to join a frat, right? I mean, they're using their alphabet. That's what I'm saying. First of all, Greeks, a little wacky looking alphabet there. <laughs> very sharp. Very sharp. Very sharp. Yeah. I think. They got cool sounding names, like Alpha, Omega. Yeah, Omega. yeah, they do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They all sound like like cool finishing moves. Yeah, they all sound like. Pro wrestlers and shit. Yeah, they do. Yeah. It, but they they sound like spells, kind of. They do. You know, when you say them all in Alpha, a row. Beta, Kappa. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, but Sigma Phi. Sorry. I also hate like <laughs> they always they're always screaming. Yeah, why? And you know, there's like rules with fraternities, like when you wear those sweaters that have like your letters on them. Yeah. Like you you can't like drink when you wear them or something. Wait a second. Yeah, man. I don't know if that's true for all fraternities, but there's like rules. Are there like any like sober frats? I guarantee it. It's like, we're not going to drink. We're not going to drink. We're going to go home and just crush water. You like Christian fraternities? Those are probably wacky. Yeah. You know? They probably get it on sexually, but like they don't drink, you know? But like anally. Yeah, they got to fill the void. Yeah. You know? So they do it with their like well, there sexual are, organs. There's girls like that that, that are like, no, no, no. I'm just saying. <laughs> that will have sex with you? No, that, that are like, uh, they're religious and they say that they're virgins because they only do anal. And hey, if you're out there and you're one of those people, I got news for you. Not a virgin. No, you're not. You're actually more of a not virgin than people who are having sex. That's like getting drafted and skipping the minors, going straight to the majors. Yeah, it's like. (laughs) That's what that is. Dude, it's insane. That's also. What about if. Well, if you blow someone, you're still a virgin, right? In my eyes, yeah. Uh, In my eyes, yes. I think anything below the belt, whatever hole gets. Get get some dick up in it. Yeah, it, I think you lose your virginity. Yeah, I think once there's penetration, 
Because then, you know. Because there's probably girls that have had a ton of sex and, like, their hymen hasn't, like, popped or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Their hymen hasn't popped. Science. No, I no, I don't think that's true. Yeah. No, I heard you could you could break your hymen like riding a bike or like playing volleyball. Or that's something. what I'm saying. Like that's not like the be all end all of like being a verge. No, I think the penetration is the is what you know. I also think like like. Yo, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being a virgin, and the mm-hmm. first time I had sex, I swear to God, I swear on everything. As soon as I was like. Locked inside Come, of, of yeah. a vagina, I was like, "I'm not a virgin." Yeah, I had that moment. Like too. It, it literally was like, "Ah, that's gone." Yeah, you know, it's kind of like when you're on probation, it's your last day, and it's like, "All right, now I don't gotta worry." Yeah, you know. Do you feel like you were better at sex at like 18 than you are now? Not even remotely close. All right, what about? Do you think you lasted longer back then than you do now? No. I'm st- what am I forty? Yeah, there, I, like you ever look at? I'm in the prime of my sexual fucking career. No, I would say the prime of a guy's sex career is like twenty three. No, twenty three, twenty five. Yeah. No, you're if you're twenty three, dude, you're at your sexual prime, man. It's all good. It's not all good, because <laughs> here's what it is: when you when you're in college, uh huh. Right? I never went there, but yes. No, yeah, me neither. <laughs> this is all speculation, obviously. We don't. Nothing's based on yeah, facts no, here. No, yeah. So don't please don't. <laughs> yeah, no, hold but, us to anything. When you're in college, yeah, those are your jackhammering years. Yeah, that's all. Eight. College dudes are like doggy, you know. It's just like that. You can go all night though. Yeah, because you, 18, you drank a whole bottle of Jack Daniels. And you know what years you're in school? Eighteen to twenty-two. Right. So here's the no to twenty-one. Uh, maybe if you, I don't know. No, eighteen to twenty-two is, is four it? years. I don't know, fucking know. College is four years. So anyway. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So the guys Oh we're so stupid Yeah it's fine So that's your jackhammering years But then it takes some time And when you get out of What? Just, just the term jackhammering years Yeah it's like when you're just fucking like oh, I'm just gonna go as hard as I can Yeah but like If I try to do that now I'm like I have to pretend like I hear something in the other room Or like uh, I should let the dog out Like there's like I have to make excuses Why? Because I used to be able to jack Jackhammer to the sun into the night? Into the fucking wee hours of the day. Yeah. You know? Okay. Now I had I, I had to master, like, breathing techniques. Like, shit gets hard, dog. Yeah, but I don't think that comes with age. I think that just comes with, like... Comes with, it comes with age, bro. I don't know. I think the older the older you get, you can't jackhammer as much as you used to. But that's what I'm saying. No, no one likes a jackhammer. Can you jack as hard as you can as you used to when you were 20? Well, now we're talking about two different things. We're talking about jack <laughs> or we're talking about jack? I'm talking about jack. Which Jack? This one. Oh, we're talking about jacking. Fucking this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think I'm stronger now. I was a very flimsy boy. You were flimsy, but you have like knee problems now. I have one knee problem. <laughs> <laughs> we played basketball yesterday and Joe collapsed. I didn't collapse. Dude, it looked like somebody shot you from like 150 yards away. Out of my ACL was torn. So I, it, it, and it made a sound. And I got so scared that my hands went on my head immediately like this. Yeah, my bones, they shift together sometimes when I do... Uh, did you just fart? No. Oh, I thought I heard a fart. No, but like if I do lateral movement, sometimes my knee will pop out and my bones will hit together and it feels like I tore my ACL again. But since I, my ACL is already torn, it doesn't like blow up or do anything. But I was all right. I'm good now. I'm yeah. Good. And, and then I almost won a three-point contest. Yeah, you did. I, I lost in the finals. Wind, a lot of wind yesterday. A lot of wind. A lot of wind. But no, it was. Uh, I just happy that you're walking around. I thought we were gonna take you to the hospital. Nah, <laughs> Danny goes. Do we have to call someone? I'm like, nah, I'm good. Dude, you you were laying like you were clutching your knee on the floor. So yeah. I was like, nobody touched them too. And they say like non-contact injuries are the worst ones. Yeah. So I was like, oh fucking shit. Yeah. How are we gonna do the show? Was the first thing that went through my head. I'm laying on the ground and I said something like, "No, nah, I'm good. I'm chilling. It's just, it's fine." And then, and Danny's like, "Yo, honestly, this is not the time to be making jokes." <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Yo," because I look at it like this, right? Yeah. And this, this, I'll tie jackhammering into this. I think the better shape you're in, the better you are at sex. No, so do I. Yeah. And I think that your libido uh-huh. is is better when you're in shape and stuff. But there was a study. That like fat people can fuck like they're mad good fucking. Okay. Apparently, but that doesn't really make sense to me though. But it's scientifically proven that like 
black like, people can like thick dad but yeah like thick daddies can jack you know like thick dudes or like fat dudes I think it was fat. I think it was like obese. Obese dudes. Yeah. All right. I mean, I've never got banged by an obese dude. So no. I don't, I don't know. Can I ask you a serious question? Yeah. A real serious one. And if you don't want to answer it, don't answer it. Okay. Could you ever sleep with a girl that was like morbidly obese? <laughs> what? So like morbidly obese meaning? Like, like. My 400 pound life Oh Oh I don't think Like Physically I could I could No you could get in there Alright I'm You so, could be honest dude it's I am like, being honest Like I have no problem being honest Someone who's 400 pounds Not really my type But what if you really Like Liked her And she And she came to you And was like Yo listen Like I don't have a lot of sex You know Yeah but I don't fuck people For favors <laughs> Well I'm out I guess <laughs> That was on your list of demands. That was on, that was on my original list, yeah. but I crossed it out. No, nah, like I a, figured on the vacation, maybe you know, like a thicker girl, like a bigger girl, like I like thick mamas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to all the thick mama seeders out, out there. Yeah, shout out to all the thick mamas. But yeah, being being like thicker and like bigger is like that's fine. Like I'm not like right. I'm not like not attracted yeah. to that type of type of woman, but. A four hundred pound woman. That's that's very that's very big. Could you? Could if you're asking me if I physically could do it, yeah, like physically you could fuck anyone. Yeah, don't do, go into that. But if, but are you asking if I would want to or if I physically could? Would you do it? I I I'm wouldn't asking. want to do. All it. right, so that's a no. All right, that's a no. Well, I was wondering how you were asking. I was just asking a question. All right. I got my answer. <laughs> We got him. Yes. <laughs> I was like, we, who's asking this question? We got him. We got him. We got him. Is it weird that we love watching shows where people are just miserable? That show, my my six hundred pound life, like it's it's my six hundred pound life, right? It's not yeah, my four hundred yeah. pound life. Is There's, it four hundred or six hundred? No, it's six hundred. It's six hundred. Yeah, and like those people are are very big, and they can't get up. And do you think do you think American women take? They're actually like girls that like obviously aren't fat uh-huh. and will say they're fat. Do you think that's like bad for our culture to like think that you're fat when like you're not like we were talking about thick mamas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> oh, what's that? What's that thick model's name? Aubrey something. Aubrey. What? No, no, not Aubrey Graham. Fucking, what's her oh, name? Oh, I know her. Ashley Ash- Graham? Ashley Graham. Yeah. Right? Hot. Hot. Fuck. Hot. Yeah. So it's like this. It's like, I feel like girls throw around the I'm fat a little too loosely. Well, I, I do think that there's- That's coming from Thick Daddy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just think girls th- throw around like so, I'm fat a little too loosely, and I think it's like kind of <sighs> ig- ignorant. So it's it's a com- well in a way in a way no I hear what for you're lack saying. of a better word I hear what you're saying you're saying it's like it's it's damaging for for skinnier people to be like to say I'm fat you're like all right like whatever but here's the thing there's two there's two <coughs> things one there is a lot there's way more like social pressure yeah to look a certain way nowadays so yes. someone who isn't overweight but feels like they're fat now yeah. Like I get how they could like how could, like maybe they actually feel that way, but then also there are people that do it for attention and be like, oh, I'm so fat or like I'm. This, that's I'm what that. I, that's what and I'm like, getting towards. Right, that is like, but it's hard to even tell who's being that because, like I said, yo, as a, as a member of thick culture, it's like you know, it's it's I, I don't false claim, you know what I'm saying? Don't <laughs> false flag out here. I don't like any of that, you know. Yeah. You either you either down or you're not. Set tripping. Yeah, you know you're set tripping. Yeah. Like I'm, a, I'm gonna call you out, you know. Yeah. But I just feel like everyone's so quick to call themselves fat. Like, like you know, it's like. Well, it's a, I, I'm talking about females. I feel bad that they put themselves under that pressure when they're not fat. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they could help it because, like I said, now because like back in the day, all you would see is there was billboards, magazines, and television, right? And like it's easy to ignore a magazine, and if you don't live in a big city, there's like maybe one billboard. 
right? So you don't really see you don't really see that, right? And television wasn't really that popular. Like, I mean, it was popular, but like we were outside, yeah, kids and shit. But now kids have Instagram and they follow people who have fake bodies, or they have, you know, like they're just they're genetically just incredible or they work out like hell. Right. And they're like, Oh, all you do is drink this fucking tea or like whatever. And they see these people with followers and likes and getting all this love. And it's like, that becomes a taint. Like now I want that. Yeah. So that's why there's so much pressure on like a girl who's fucking 16 years old. When it's like, dude, you haven't even grown into your legs yet. Yeah. You know, you can barely walk, relax. Now, do you think like plus size models, do you think that's a good thing or do you think that that's like prolonging like an obese issue? Ooh, that's a good question. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I think that first of all, I do. I think that the, uh, the term plus size model is probably the most thrown around thing because if you've seen some of these women, they consider plus size models. You're like, yeah. the fuck? She's like 145 pounds. Yeah. The modeling industry is kind of wild. Like I feel yeah. like they're ruthless motherfuckers. Like I've heard stories of them being like, you know, a girl who, you know, we would see her and be like, yo, this girl's a fucker. And then they'd be like, yo, you got to lose 10 pounds. Like, you're disgusting. Yeah. Like, they will say things like that. It's in, it's insane. Yeah. Right? And it's just wild. So a plus size model. What a horrible industry. Yeah. It's kind of, it's it's like great and bad at the same time. Yeah. Um, but. It's, so, hor- it's horrible. So you're acting like plus size models. Yeah. Is that, what is it like, doing? What are you saying? Like, do you is think. Is it damaging? Is it damaging to like, for people not to get fit? Because they can embrace, like, you know, like, she's a plus-size model. I could do it. Like, I don't have to do this. Because you could be thick and live a clean lifestyle. Yes, but I do think that scientifically, if you're overweight, you're technically unhealthy. Right. But that's what I'm saying, though. So do you embrace the plus-size, like, model community? Like, it's like a double-edged sword, kind of. I kind of see it as... Uh, I'm not asking you. No, no, no. I'm just saying like... Well, ask me. Like, I'm, I'm down to answer No, it. but I mean like as people, do do we... Where's the line? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, yo, know, plus size model, like get, like, get your, like, you know, get your money, like, get your fucking groove on, girl. Yeah. Get after it. Yeah. Take mama life. But then it's like also like, there is health stuff. Yeah. You know? So it's like, it's a double-edged sword. Like, I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. I, I can, I, so here's how I feel about it. I think that I'm a plus size model myself. So, right. Uh, I think to completely ignore either way is irresponsible. So to come to, to be on the thicker side and assume that everyone has to think you're beautiful and has to think that thick women are beautiful and has to, and has to think whatever, like that's just wrong. Like people have preferences. Like, right. I don't have to think you're fucking beautiful because you're thick. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's not it's not because of that. Like I have a preference, just like other people have preferences, like for whatever other things. It's like you're a thicker woman. I'm not into that. Right. Not me. But I'm saying I know. I, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> no, you're but saying. Uh, but like so so there's that right. So you can't ignore that. You also can't ignore the science behind how a human being gains weight. Right. You know there's right. a, correct an overabundance of calories and not enough exertion. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Exercise going on, and that's why you gain weight. This is making me tired. Just yeah. listening to this. <laughs> so there's the science behind that as well, right. right? So technically, maybe you're not living an unhealthy lifestyle now, but at some point you were, okay. right? And that's what has gotten you to this point of yeah. why your body looks the way it does, and it doesn't look like someone else's. Now, that's one side of it. Now the other side, which also people can't ignore, which people always do, is, uh. Some people don't give a fuck. And it's and to me, it's like smoking cigarettes. Right. Right? So it's like, if someone wants to smoke cigarettes, you know... Cigarettes. I said that weird, right? Yeah, yeah. If someone wants to smoke cigarettes, it's like, you know what it does to your body. It's printed on the goddamn label. Yeah. It's like, there, there's so many things, and now there's so many, like, whatever. You know it's killing you. Mm-hmm. And it can cause cancer, and it could do this, and it could do that. And you're outside in 10 degree weather in the middle of a work day Bang. smoking a cigarette. Yeah. You took the elevator down to smoke a cigarette. Just bang heaters. You know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. at that point, though, I'm also like, yo, like you clearly know what is going on here, but you're doing it anyway. You know why? Because you're a fucking grown ass person. So do what the fuck you want. I don't care. You know what I mean? It has no effect on me. Right. You know, I'm not sharing a body with some morbidly obese person. If you want to fucking 
eat all this shit and you're like, dude, whatever. I don't mind being fat or I don't mind being right. thicker. I don't mind doing this. And I, I'll stay healthy within whatever I think that the is. The parameters of my own health. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I don't really care. Right. But to, but to, but at the, so like, I don't really have like a hard stance on it. I think that if you're overweight, you are unhealthy. Right. No matter what. Like for me, uh, I don't think I'm overweight yet, but I think that, uh, you know, because I, yo, I, we'll yo, this, 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 <laughs> we'll get you there. This past month, I've just been awful. I have a crazy sugar addiction. Yeah, you do. And I'm, I'm literally kicking it cold turkey, like not doing sugar. It's oh, well, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna yeah, like yeah, say yeah, I'm gonna yeah. do it. But so I have to kick that because like I could, if I get into like 190 something, I'm gonna be overweight, and I'm not gonna sit there and be like, yo, I'm fat and I'm this and I'm that. But technically, I am fat and I'm, li- I'm unhealthy. I wouldn't say you're fat, but. Yo, I would say you you would be overweight. Overweight. You know. Okay, sorry. Yeah. You're over. I'm overweight. But there being over. That's that's what we were trying to tackle. You know what I'm saying? But being overweight is being unhealthy. Yes. And I know some of it is genetics, where you know you could have, you know, everyone in your family is like bigger right. or like whatever, but it's also not genetic to reverse that. No, you can. Right, you you could you could eat better. You could yes. exercise. You right. could do this. You could do that. You know. So it's like, you can't ignore both sides of it. It's like at, at one hand, I'm like, dude, do your thing. Like it doesn't. I'm not sharing a body with you. But is it like? But it's also weird though. Like, like jo- like Jonah Hill, right? Yeah. Like people always make that joke. Like he's not funny because he's skinny now. Yeah. Like, that becomes parts of like a part of people's brands. I feel like. Well, yeah, and that's another thing. Like so Chris, it's like like Chris Farley. Who's to say how funny he'd be if he was skinny? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he was, like, the guy that would fall through tables and, like, wear tight pants and, you know, do that. Yeah. And then, ultimately, that and drug abuse killed him. Well, it was, you know, the you drugs. Know, it's a mixture of both. But I'm just, you know, yeah, you're right. You're right. But, like, to – that's why I'm saying, like, it's your prerogative. Like, whatever you want your body right. to look like, you should make it look like that. Yeah. Like, we have no – like, people who have such a hard stance on – uh you know, thicker people of like, yo, just get in shape. Like just fucking whatever. Like you're disgusting. Like you're not like, you're not beautiful. You're gross. Right. Yeah. Who have that sort of like stance, love fake tits. It's like, yo, those are the same things. It's like, I want my body to look this way. Right. I'm going to put some fake things in my chest or whatever. And these people, I don't you know, like, I, I don't care about being fucking whatever. I think it's also like unrealistic to like, look at somebody on Instagram and think you're going to look like them. No, of course. Like, yeah, like, you could try and lift, like, The Rock and, like, do all this shit. Like, you're never going to look like The Rock, bro. It also took him 35 years to, yeah. do, to be where he is. And a whole lot of steroids and a whole lot of cosmetic surgery. Cosmetic surgery? Yes. What do you mean? He, he's he got, like, his tits done. Like, I know he got his nipples done. He's got, he, they get a lot of cosmetic surgery. They're actors, dude. Yeah. They get fat sucked out of places. They do their thing. They know what they're doing. I got lipo sucks. <laughs> I got lipo sucks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then some people are just genetic freaks. Yeah. Some people, and that's and that's another thing too, because it's like the dudes who have that stance of like, oh, just be healthy and like blah 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 blah. It's like, yeah, all right, but you aren't going off after people that aren't healthy but still manage to maintain like a skinnier body. Yeah. It's people who are like skinny fat. Those aren't healthy people either. Right. And it's like, are you really worried about other people's health? Or like, why are you so angry? Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going around <laughs> t- kicking people's doors and it's like, is there broccoli in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Are those carrots frozen? Yeah. Should be fresh carrots. Yeah, no. I just so much want- salt in the preservatives. Yeah. I'd bang a fat lady, though, for sure. That's where we were. That's all I wanted the answer to. Oh, you want, you, you'd bang a 400-pound woman? I'm with it. Yeah. Now there's something I'd see. I'm with it if you would it. I'd be like two dinosaurs. Like two what? Be like two dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs clashing in the fucking jungle. Did the jungle? Did they live in the jungle? I think they just kind of went wherever the fuck they wanted. Where did they live? Who was gonna stop them? Really? The jungle makes sense. There's a lot of food there. Right. Yeah. And there weren't lions back then, were, were there? Nope. No. Alligators though. I I don't know. They say they're pre. They say they're like prehistoric. Which is prehistory. So how would you know? Fossils and shit. Fossils and shit. Yeah. Yo, by the... Oh, my God. 
I don't know why when you said dinosaurs it kind of rem- kind of reminded me of my dream. I had this dream the other day that was so fucking weird. Oh, I had see, a dream. I, I had a dream too. I'll tell you. I posted it on uh, Instagram. I was like, "Yo, I had this dream. It's crazy. I might make a video for it or whatever." But I'm just gonna say it on the podcast. Yeah, fuck it. So I had a dream the other night that um, now I gotta try and remember it. All right, so this kid that I went to high school with, uh, I haven't seen him since then, and he was the, he would like invite me to a party. Yeah, so he invited me to, like, a house party, right? And, like, I'm skipping a bunch because I just don't – it's all foggy to me. But I went to a house party, and uh, he's like, yeah, man, whatever. I remember walking up to the door, and he opens the door, and there was, like, beer pong tables set up and, like, flip cup, and you know, whatever. But everyone in the house was horses, like they were, <laughs> were they like centaurs? No, 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 full blown horses. And they could talk. And I don't think cent centaurs. Is centaurs. Centaurs, minotaur. I don't know, but yeah, they they no, they couldn't talk. They were they were horses. No one was like, oh hey Jeff, and like being a horse. No, right. they, they, uh, oh, they yeah. were a horse, like a like a horse. How many were in there? Oh, it was a house party, like a like in a movie house party. Like there was tons of horses. <laughs> And also, the thing that was hilarious is that I was not freaked out. I was just like, oh, yeah. I just like, I was like, oh, yeah, horses. This is a common thing in a house party. This is what you would see. I'm trying to, like, see why you would have this dream, but I can't. Horses with beer pong tables. No one was playing beer pong. They're horses. <laughs> That's fucking weird, dude. Yeah. But I Wait, s- the horses were actually playing beer pong? Like, like no, no, with no. Their hooves? Nope. Just standing around being a horse. Horse have hooves, right? I, yeah. Yeah. But that's it. That was the dream. This kid that I went to high school with. And you just woke up. Yeah, and I was just kind of like, the fuck was that? That's weird. Went to a house party with a bunch of horses. It's kind of fire, though. I mean, yeah. I mean, if, yo, honestly, though, if you walked into a house party and there was a bunch of horses, you'd be like, this is the greatest yeah. house party. Ever. First, I'd be scared initially. I'd be scared as fuck. I'd be, I'd be tripping. I'd be tripping a little bit. I'd be like, yo, yo, yo. Why you got mad horses in here, dog? Yeah. First of all, very costly. Yeah. Horses are expensive. Hell yes. And I wouldn't get behind one because they like can back kick. That'll break. That'll break your chest plate. Fuck yeah. I should have fuck your whole plate up. Shatter any plate in your body. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So I, I just you know that I wouldn't get behind one. Have no. you ever rode a horse? I rode a horse once when I was like five. Yeah, me too. I rode a pony. Yeah. No, I rode a fucking horse. They put, they put a, you can't put a five-year-old on a horse. Yeah, but you have somebody on there with you. You can't put a five-year-old on a horse. It's you and a person that's trained to ride a horse. You never rode a horse, buddy. I'm sorry. It's a pony. Too bad I have photo evidence. It's a pony. Okay. You fucking idiot. Yep. It was a white horse, too. It was a white pony. It wasn't a pony. It was a horse. It wasn't a white. It was Pegasus. Did it fly? <sighs> Did you dream this? I'm going to show him the picture. Listen, I know about horses. I was just at a party with fucking 400 I'm of just them. letting you know I rode a horse. You didn't ride a horse. I was on a horse. Hi, your little five-year-old feet are gonna go over of the saddle of a horse. Let me ask you this: When you ride something, when you jump out of a plane, you jump out of a plane by yourself, or is there a guy on there? I don't jump out of planes. But I'm just saying, any video of you saw your dumb friends jumping out of a plane, there's a guy attached to them, right? You ever see a horse in the air? No, no. So but what, what are you I'm, talking about? When I was on the horse, a professional horseman was behind me on the horse. A professional horseman. Yes. That's what they call them, a horseman. No, they're equestrians. This guy. I got a equestrian for you. Yeah. You've never even ridden a horse, have you? I've re- I read a, I rode a pony. Yeah, <laughs> so you didn't ride a horse. I know the difference between ponies and horses. As do I, and I no, was on a horse. the lines are blurred for you. No, I'm not. I know what a pony looks like. I've caught many in Red Dead Redemption. There's ponies in Red Dead? Yeah. Nice. There's horses too. Yeah, but I think I caught a stallion. I think that when you were younger, you're like, oh my god. No, this- it's not one of those things where like I saw like Ken Griffey Jr. and he looked like he was twelve feet tall or something. Yeah, you're like, oh my god, this this thing is huge. It must be a horse. It's a pony. And I was a horse dog. I also shot a musket when I was like nine. A musket? Yeah, I went to a jamboree. Who and gave shot it a to musket. you? Lee Harvey Oswald? No. And even then, a guy spotted me when I shot it because it's too powerful of a weapon for a nine year old boy. I'm not making this up. Man. What did you play Shaq one on one too? Yeah, me and Aaron Carter. Who do you think that song was about? They just didn't want a Puerto Rican kid to beat him because it wasn't racially diverse enough. Yeah, you know, 
But I had a dream that I went back to high school and I was 30 years old and everyone knew. <laughs> like <laughs> everyone's like, what are you doing here, man? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> really? what happened. Yeah. They were like, why did are you here? Did you get bullied? No, kind of, I guess kind of, but I was 30 years old, like in class, like learning. And everyone knew I was 30 and I, I, I was me right now, but it was everyone that I went to high school with, but in their high school form, it was mad weird. What'd you learn? Nothing. <laughs> but I just remember just being in a class and a teacher was talking and everyone knew I was 30 and everyone kept coming up to me and asking me like, why are you here? You're 30. <laughs> and like when I woke up, I was like, damn, you know, like. Did, did that, does this mean I have to grow up in real life? Or like, did I just have a weird-ass dream? I'm, so, I'm sure someone will have an answer for you. No one's going to have an answer for me, though. No, they're going to say, like, horses are a sign of, like, diligence or some dumb shit. Yeah, I hate when... I hate I hate that. Yeah. Do you believe in, like, dreams meaning anything? No, I don't. Me neither. I don't. Because when your the, teeth fall out, you're losing power. No, because, like, when we talk what about... Po what po power? What am I, a fucking... A mage? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fucking, I'm a sorcerer. Yeah. What power do I have? So like, you'll see like on the basement yard, uh, YouTube, she plug, uh, youtube.com slash the basement yard. It's where all the full episodes go. But like, you'll see like in the search, like suggested, it's always like video game stuff. Cause like, that's what I watch when I go to sleep. Like I'll learn about like, I love learning about video games. Okay. So I'll fall asleep to that. And like, sometimes I'll have a dream where I'm like in the video game and what's coming through my ears is literally what's having happening in the dream. Okay. Have you ever had that? Um, like if you fall asleep watching something. Oh, I forgot a crucial point to my dream. Go back. Cause you said that. Yeah. And that's it. That, so it kind of, that kind of relates. Yeah. And when I was at the house party, I had to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom and the kid had a urinal in his house it's very strange. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind one in my house, honestly. I love honestly. a urinal in yeah. my crib. But so I went to go pee mm -hmm. in the urinal. All right. And then I, I woke up as I was peeing in the urinal. So I think my body got like confused. Oh. Because it was like, oh, we're peeing. So I woke up and I was like, oh, I almost pissed my bed. I almost peed in my bed. Yeah. That's it when was, it was, yo, I got this close. A dream's coming reality. That's right there. 27 no, year old man pisses the bed. Yeah. Cause I was, I was listening to something about like, uh, I was pissed the Casper mattress. <laughs> I was pissed at Casper, but like, I know. Cause like I'll have dreams falling asleep and like, I'll have a dream that the dialogue that's happening in, in my ears yeah. is the dialogue that's happening in my dream. That's crazy. Yeah. Cause it's like, you're half in, you're half out. It's kind of like Inception. Like, what other videos do you that's, watch? That's what so it what is. So what happens if you listen, you watch, you fall asleep to, like, porno? You probably have uh, a sex dream, yeah. You know, I've never had a, a dream where I actually, like, penetrated anybody. Let me ask you this. That's weird. And also... <laughs> <coughs> Wait, you have penetration dreams? Yeah, but I can't come, though. Yeah. You know? You can't come in dreams. It's weird. Why? I wouldn't know. <clears throat> you can't die in dreams, and you can't come in dreams. Yeah, I can't... I, I've never penetrated anyone. I've, it's always gotten to like right to the whatever, or maybe it's like I'm sort of penetrating, but I can't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you try to look, but you can't see. Yeah. So I've never seen me actually. Well, I've had a dream where people have cut my fingers off, and I, I swear to God, I felt it. I, yeah. That's what's weird. Like I felt them, and then I woke up and looked at my hand. But no, like, um, well, I was saying, <clears throat> like about the sex dreams. When you jerk off, do you ever think about, like, if you're going straight from the memory bank, not using video? Okay, so what, 2003 we're talking about? Right. What was the setting? What do you mean? Like, where are you having sex with this person? Oh, in my head? Yeah. <laughs> oh. You never really, th I never really thought about that. Like, where's the actual setting? I haven't where done it in so long. Because you, you're never focusing on the background. Yeah, you got to fuck somewhere. But where is it? I don't know. It's just some weird made of world. Oh, so you're, you're, yo, I swear to God, I've, I've, like, where is it? Like, is it on a bench? I've jerked off to like weird, like magazines where like women are fully clothed. And I'm like, I see a curvature of a tit. I'm going for this. Those are the good old days. Yeah. Fucking honest.
I think I'm taking. I'm taking a shit. So, <laughs> that's just honest American jacking it right there. That's yeah, all. Yeah, I mean it's my favorite pastime. Is, yeah, of is hiding my jerks. It's football. And hiding my jerks from my my little entire family. I know. Have you ever? Yes. I'll go out on a limb and just say yes. No, no, no. So here's the question. Have you ever mm-hmm. been jerking off? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like somebody knocks on the door? No, someone comes in the room. And like they don't catch you because you're like pretty covered. But that's like at the time that you come. So it's like I'm already coming. So I have to keep going. Um, Not to that point, but I've had it like be really close to that point. And, like, my mom definitely knew I was jerking off. Like, there's no shot she didn't know. Well, yeah, you had to beat it. Yeah. But then, like, the weirdest thing. I feel like thing- I'm going to be so conscious <laughs> of kids jerking off. Like, once my kids turn 11, I'm going to be like, I'm going to catch these fuckers beating their dicks. I know. But where was your jack zone? The bathroom? Yeah. yeah. So, I would jerk off in the shower. like. But that's also weird because, like, your family's moving around about the house and you're just jacking it. Yeah, I definitely would. Yeah, I would not wait until people. No one would ever leave. No. Six people. I know. That's what I'm saying. Fucking birds and shit. It's like you're jacking it. It's like, Keith, can you take the garbage out? And you're just like, I'm so close. Stop it. Or you 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 ever have your friends text you? Yeah. And you're like, oh, God. Dude, I've had my mom text me. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough. And you have to like say like, oh, okay, no problem, mom. See you later. Love you. Nah, I swipe up. I can't can't do a conversation and get back into that zone. I just hold it (laughs) off. Those are the worst. We're disgusting. I know. It's whatever. It's party. We are disgusting. We're Horse. truthful, though. Yeah. This is true things. I think I think a lot of truth comes out on this show. I, I don't want to lie about it. Me neither. Why would you? Who would? A lot Normal people, probably. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. But, you know, I'm a truthful guy. What can I say? Yeah, I think you're a truthful dude. I think you're a truthful guy. You, th- you do? Yeah. I want to see how truthful you are. Just be on. Be, I want yes or no's because you skimmed. What so, is this? So before we get into the the Patreon, all right? Yeah. And then I'm and then I have a little thing I want to say to the patrons after that I wrote. All right. You wrote? Yeah, in my mind. All right. Um, the seven percent equity of basement yard that's out, right? That is so out. What about one percent? What about next? Okay. Mazda Miata. That is a, that is a future poss- possible Poss- possibility. I yeah. like it. One friendship follow post on Instagram. It could be on your story. I post you all the time, Danny. That's a yes. All right. I do. It, it, technically promoted to co-host, so I could put it on my my bio. Go ahead, Danny. Yes, got that one, guys. We're, co- we're winning. Danny's a right. co-host. Here we go. Uh, five. <laughs> some kind of fish. Yes or no? You could say no. Are you going to take care of it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not kill a fish. Let's not do that. Probably. No. No. I, I want to say that I would so bad. I really want to say I'll take care of this fish. But if you, but if you, what kind of fish would you prefer? Like, like a Nemo fish, a clownfish. Whoa, those are a little expensive. No, they're not. I think they're more expensive than a goldfish. They're quite tiny. That doesn't mean anything. I think right. it's the, the rarity. All right. So, uh, you know, what? I'll even make that a maybe. The fish is a maybe. All right. So one holiday and or vacation spent together. I hope. I'd be, okay. I'd be super down right, for that. So yeah. Where do you want to go? I'll go to Colorado. Go to Denver. Oh, nice. Yeah. Let's do that. Have a panic attack out there, but it's fine. Yeah. From the elevation. Yeah, uh, right. Tell me a secret. We'll figure that out. <laughs> a secret of my choosing. If that's even possible. No. Um, pr- do I have your presidential vote in 2020? Because here's the thing, New York. Are you going to sell me on this? Here's the thing about, yeah, here's the thing about oh, New yeah, York. We're a blue state. We're a blue state. It's never going to not be blue. It's never not going to be blue. Not- so you could, you could potentially write me in without people being like, oh, why did you do that? 2020, low priori. Low priori, Santa Gata. You could be my fucking running mate. I'll vote for you if you vote for me. <laughs> I want to see how many votes we could get in the presidential election. No, don't do that. That's irresponsible. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Go, vote for me for president. <laughs> that would be so funny. Yeah, I mean, it'd be so dumb. It'd be so funny if CNN. It, was it like, would. It would make a mockery. Did you see all those things back in the day about when, Harambe? Like thirteen like percent. No, 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 no. Like ten thousand total people 
like voted for No, but in like primaries though, to like run against like real people. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Um give me every dollar in your pocket, I have that. <laughs> and then um donate a hundred dollars to a bird sanctuary. Yeah, yes or no? Once we get the legitimacy, I'll donate. That's it. fine. You know, we are doing something tomorrow. Maybe we'll donate to that. Okay. We'll do that. Keep an eye out for that, too. It's going to be fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I should. Yeah. And then 11 is uh, actually just like, just the... Oh, I don't know why you're turning it over. There's nothing written The there. legitimate raise, too. I forgot about that point. But here we go. I wrote something for the patrons that... uh. Same paper. I want to thank the patrons of the Basement Yard Patreon. This day was a day that we thought would never exist. A day we thought would never happen. But a day that we made. It is a day that will live in infamy. For those out there who never had a chance to be who they want to be. Buy what they want to buy. (laughs) I just want to say to everyone out there, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And um, go Knicks. Sorry, I had, I, had, I had to get you off stage. Yeah, no, they played me off. They yeah, played me off. They're playing me off. Yeah, I played you off. Sorry. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> all right, cool. I love how you read that as if you did like a <laughs> commencement speech. And, like, it was a day. And you know you do breaks because it echoes? Yeah. And it was a day. 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 <laughs> Um, all right, let's get to these shout-outs uh, for the patrons. Again, if you want to uh, support The Basement Yard, you can head to patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Patreon spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash The Basement Yard. Also, if we get to 2,000, we're going to do something special for that too. Yeah. There's something that's on there right now to just to get to 2,000. It's a placeholder. It's a placeholder. But there's something that we're working on that's super special. We don't want to share it now, do we? Oh, yeah, but I don't know if we could get that done by 2000. I think we could. Do we want to do want do we want to speak it? No. We'll speak it on a future episode. Yeah, I also not even completely certain in what you're talking about, but I think we're on the same yeah, page. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But it would be fucking epic. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah. Uh all right, cool. Let's get to these uh shout-outs. We have Brenna K. Brenna K. K. Brenna K. Brenna K. Brenna K. Whoa. She's coming through with that K. Yeah. Uh, Brenna K just sounds like the name of a girl who was like the hottest girl in high school. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I, mean I mean like when I was in high yeah, school, yeah, not yeah. right now. No, Please, yeah, we're, God. We're, yeah, yeah. Um, Alexandria Perez. Political. Yeah. Uh, Sophia. Just Sophia, I guess we have there. Jamie Schwank. That's fire. Yeah. Schwank. Like, like Hillary Schwank. It's not sh- it's swank. 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 This, is, this is Schwank. She looks like a horse, kind of. Christian Rivera. Yeah, it's you for running the middle guy. Yeah. But it sounds like he's good at handball. Clean up hitter. Yeah. Uh, Brady Schlegel. Not even going to touch that one. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a nice Jewish gent. Yeah, it does. He's definitely a Jewish guy. Uh, he lives out on Long Island. His yeah. parents have a, a landscaper that takes care of the bushes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Merrick Larson. Uh, uh, Merrick Larson. A woman? <laughs> Merrick's a girl's name, right? I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those like unisex. Just I like those names. Just a great guy girl. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Diana Daka. Daka. Daka, Daka, Daka. Okay. Okay. That was a, that was a good try. John Hubble. Great telescope. Craig. <laughs> yeah. Uh, CJ Ang- Angel. Angel. Chris Angel, maybe? Maybe. Chris Angel's probably a fucking patron, dude. Dude, that's sick. Made it. Magicians fuck with us. Mind freak. Uh, AJ, a.k.a. Necromaniac. Too much for me. Yeah, I don't like it. Throw your AKA on yeah, a professional. Uh, come on. What is this? Bush League? Audra Horace. A lot of horse stuff. <laughs> a lot of horse stuff. Or horse stuff. Not horse stuff. You said horish. I said ho- what? Oh, no. Horace. Oh. 
Her last name wasn't Horish. I don't know. People got weird names, dog. Yeah, Horish is probably someone's last name. Oh, absolutely. Horish. Uh, Diana. <laughs> Dirty Diana. This is <laughs> this is Polish. Uh, Zabluski. Yeah, Jesus. Zabluski. The big Zabluski. The big Zabluski. Diana. <laughs> Come on. Uh, John Blankenship. Jingleheimer Schmidt. Yeah. What? <laughs> Uh, Asherina Moshi. I have really nothing for that, but thank you so much. Moshi. Tiffany Ponce. It sounds like someone's trying to say pants. Ponce de Leon. Ponce. Ponce. Where there is an accent over the E. Ponce. Ponce. That's not helping. <laughs> um, <laughs> Stephanie Carvalho. Carvalho. Carv- no, not Carvalho. Carvalho. You're just saying things now. Hey, I'm, I need your help. We you need a horse. Seven, oh, she's got a picture here. Let's take a look at her. Let's back this up. Zoom it. We're gonna zoom in. Oh, zoom me. There's Stephanie. See Steph? Yeah, I think it's Carvalho. I don't think it is. Carvalho. We're pronouncing that wrong. Uh, who else we got? Oh, my pay, my pages. Okay. Uh, Angelica Diradrian. Fuck that up. Game of Thrones character. Yeah, it's definitely a Game of Thrones character. Yo, uh, Thrones. You pump for Thrones? Diana Wynn. For the win. Spelled like Ben Wynn. Don't know either. W-A-Y-N-N? Like no. win like that or W-I-N-N? N-G. Oh, win, like win, win. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. Asian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're Asian. Or Polynesian, um, maybe. Anastasia Korinik. Mm-hmm. Anesthesiologist. Probably not. Destiny Nicole? Yikes. Got a lot of destiny of uh, porn. Yes. Going on that's, there. that's your destiny. It's <laughs> porn. Um, Danielle Holder. White picket fence. Yeah. Husband wears an apron. <laughs> oh, it's the Holders, honey. Oh, let's stop by the Holders on the way home. <laughs> Brendan Butler? I got to get hoop. Yeah. I got to get a hoop. Smooth Jelly. Great rapper. Really don't have to say anything about that. Uh, Annie Forchetti. Bruschetta. Bruschetta. <laughs> Bruschetta. Some kind of cheese. Mark De La Cruz. That sounds like a rapper name. Yeah. Or a guy that drove like a Honda CRV, like a Honda CRV back in the day, the Hell hatchback. Yeah. This shit was fire. Alisa Cari- Carillo. Carillo. Alicia. Alicia Carillo. I don't know. I don't know. I just like saying her name. Yeah, me too. I just like saying it. Samantha King. A king, yeah. a queen, queen, and a king. It's fucked up. Uh, Jacob Florence, that guy's rich. Yeah. Florence, come on, dude. Yeah. This guy's got a fountain. Named after a beautiful city. Yeah. John Zaff. Come uh, on, John. Get it together, John. Yeah. Get a different name, dude. <laughs> Z a p h p f. No, just Z a f. Zaff. He's a, he's a top tier uh, yeah, fucking sh- guy. Zaff Daddy. Zaff Daddy. That's so funny. Noah Frost. Whoa. Whoa. No, fr- no Frost. That would be my name. Noah Frost is a cool name. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Someone in this family has to be named Jack, right? Jack Frost. It has to be. It's a sad movie, man. Yeah, but right. somebody has to be named Jack is what I'm saying yeah, in his yeah, family. Yeah. Come on, Jack. Okay, the last two. First one, Dallas Hernandez. Okay. I feel like, see, this is like very conflicting because Dallas, I think, is the name of a southern white. I don't know. I've met a couple of people named Dallas and they weren't white. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Let's ask, let's ask Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah. See what he thinks. <laughs> well, don't ask him. Um, and then the last one we have here, Dad Slayer 69. Oh, save the best for last. That's save the saying. best for last. Dad Slayer? Damn, dude. Dude's fucking slaying dads. That's fire. Sexually? Fucking dads is dope. Oh, no. We have to end on this one. Skyler Lash. Oh, man. That's a wrestler. Yeah, that's a wrestler. Skyler Lash? Come wrestler, maybe. Skyler Lash is kind of porny. Hell yeah. Damn, that's cool. From the top rope, deep throat. Top rope. <laughs> top rope, three throat. Three is, throat? Free, is this free throws? Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Yeah. All right, we're going to end on that one. But mm-hmm. shout out to all the, the patrons. We'll eventually get to... Ah, we'll eventually get to... Uh, <laughs> We'll eventually get to all of you and uh, read your names out there and give you a little shout out on the basement yard. Try to try to guess who you are. For sure. You know. Uh, also, hold on. We got one right, and I forgot the dude's name. No way, we got one right. Yeah, dude. We said his name. I think it was like, 
It was like Alex Perez or some shit like that. Oh, I don't know what it is. All right, we'll find but out. But he DM'd or, or he tagged me. And, oh, that's what it was. I think he tagged me and you in something. So I saw it. And we said something like, this kid sounds like he has a strong jaw and like blah, blah, blah. And I looked and he's like a male model. This guy knows what I'm talking about. He like tagged me in it. You know what I'm talking about, you son of a bitch. Strong, he's like strong tall, jawed bastard. He's like this, yeah, this tall fucking sharp chin fuck from like Canada that's like a smoke. Fuck that guy. Good God damn you. it. You know people are so hot, you're like, fuck you, man. Story of my life. All right, uh, Danny, where can they find you? At Daniel Perry on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> Good God. I don't know. Twitter. I don't know. Just uh, doing what a co-host does. Yeah, you know. You, know? <laughs> you guys can follow me on Twitter at Joe Santagato. Why I say Twitter? You guys can follow me on any social media at Joe Santagato, and you can follow the show at The Basement Yard. Go check that out for little clips and shit from the show. Um, YouTube channel is youtube.com slash the basement yard and also go check out the videos on Santa Gata Studios uh, youtube.com slash Santa Gata Studios and uh, also uh, I have another show called Other People's Lives you guys can go check that out where we interview strangers about their crazy stuff that's going on what do you think is the weirdest person you ever talked to on that show just off the off the top uh, I don't know it's hard to say it's not that it's we- it's more like Shocking, because they're right. very unique, and yeah. you never you're like I've never even know this existed. Do you ever go into those with like, oh, yeah, I'm not gonna buy anything this person says. Yeah, there was one of them, and I actually kind of went at her. Really? Yeah. Wow. What what episode was that? She was like pro anorexia. Oh, okay. What yeah. season was that? Two. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and listen. Yeah, to you that go one. check it out. Yeah. But it's called Other People's Lives. Go check it out on SoundCloud and wherever you can get your podcast. But that is all. We'll see you guys next time.